Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja. And as you guys know, I've been covering a ton of smart home stuff on my channel. And to continue that trend, today we're gonna talk about an item that's not released just yet. And this item is like nothing else I've seen on the market. If you have a new smart home or thinking about a smart home, you gotta check this out. Yachty's releasing a light switch that I've never seen before. First of all, it's made from glass and it's touch sensitive. Right now it comes in black or white with the possibility of other colors later. This light switch connects to your Wi-Fi, then it uses an app so you can control it. You can turn it off and on and other settings like that. So it does stand on its own for your smart home or in the future, it will have compatibility with other smart home products. To install it in the wall, it's pretty simple. Just like any other light switch, you kill the power, you connect the matching wire colors and use the included nuts to keep them together. Then you put the back plate back on and connect it back to your wall. And bam, you have yourself a sick looking light switch. Now at first glance, it looks like this thing has a built-in night light because it uses these soft white lights behind the switch to sort of illuminate behind it and it actually looks really, really nice. There is a little blue button at the bottom, but even if you tap anywhere in the square, it'll activate the light. When using it as a manual switch, I had no problems with it. It acted as a normal light switch, just touch sensitive. So for me as a smart home user, it's really important to me to get objects in my house that are smart, but also what's important to it to get things that look good. And this looks good. It fits any type of sleek, modern setup you have. You can go with the white one for more of a spelt appearance, or if you go with the black one, you can get that a little punchy appearance that kind of sticks out a little bit. Overall, both options looks really, really good. So if we take a deeper look into the application, you will find a lot of nifty features in here, things that we can customize the way it is. Number one, you can change the light switch to make it a proximity sensor. So when you reach towards it, it lights up. So you don't have that light consistently shining on the back if you don't want. Also, you can actually change the backlight settings too. You can change the brightness and also change the color of it too. So if you want a different color, you can change that up to get yourself something that matches your decor. This device also supports multiple users so you can then share this light switch out to other people so they all can access your light switch from their own application and account. And there's also timers too, so you can set a timer up automatically. You can have it turn on when you wake up. Under actions, we can add some automation to our Yachty. We have a lot of different actions like location and we have repeatable. Like if you're on vacation and you want the lights to turn on and off, sun cycles, weather conditions, and also Wi-Fi status of your device. You do have a lot of options to really customize the switch and make it your own. Now for the budget conscientious people out there, they do have statistics and charge and energy usage. So if you want to dig into that information and kind of figure out the estimated savings costs by having this light on timer, you can do that from here. During my testing, I didn't have it installed long enough to see a significant change and all my lights are on timers. But if this is your first light that you have on a timer, you can sort of see the, the energy savings difference versus if you leave a light always on or if you forget to turn a light off. I mean, there is a significant impact, uh, especially if you have this light turn off after it's done being used. So overall, guys, I've been enjoying my time with the Yachty light switch and maybe you guys would too. Hit the link down below. It's going to be on Indiegogo. So make sure you sign up and be ready for notifications when that goes live. So you can go ahead and get your hands on one for the lowest price possible. I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. If you enjoyed the video, share it with a friend, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. ATTN, say it again. Tell a friend to tell a friend that it's him. Hey, yo, 